Hey you house, my name is Rodney Bowden. I'm the Dean of the Robbins College of Health and Human Sciences at Baylor and have been in this position about five years and uh, have been in a leadership position at Baylor since 2006 with just various roles before this one. I'm looking forward to meeting with you all tomorrow to chat a little bit about leadership and, and using that second episode of Band of Brothers as an example of, of, of looking at leadership. I've had the opportunity to uh, work with Professor Phillips, and we've we've been watching this series now for almost 20 years. Uh, really like a, a number of things about it. This, the idea that it's it's a, one of our greatest generations that fought this this war that helped bring about um, really peace and democracy throughout the world. A second piece is because it holds so close to history. There. Are, there's only a few exceptions where they've, they've missed a little bit, but for the most part, it holds true. I've, I've read the books by Stephen Ambrose uh, and uh, by Dick Winters and, and read firsthand hand accounts from them as well as this series. So it holds really true. I think in this second episode, um, what I find really intriguing is you see, when you see any number of good examples and bad examples of leadership, and, that, and that's true of every single episode. This one in particular, as you would imagine, you look at Richard Winters and you see him making some what I call informed, decisive decisions. Uh, and that's true of combat, what you need to do, but to be honest with you, it's true in leadership uh, outside of combat, in higher education, or in a position you might find yourself in later in life. But you also see some, some really, um, some bad decision making, right? Some, some reckless decision making even by people that later on in the episode, real people that later on in, in this, this time when they went from Normandy all the way to the Eagle's Nest, uh, they redeemed themselves, but they made some really bad decisions uh, during this particular episode. So I'm looking forward to talking about the idea of informed, decisive decision-making, uh, some of the, the characteristics that go along with an individual that does that, and to be able to see that play out throughout the episode um, and we'll use that as an example. So looking forward to uh, our time together, and we'll see you tomorrow. University House, gentlemen, hope you're doing well. We are on week two of our leadership series, Band of Brothers. This is Day of Days. What you're watching here behind me <clears throat> as we talk, this is a German troop um, convoy that's being taken out by Easy Company. They've just reformed. They're not really in full strength yet, and they're kind of working through the countryside trying to reach their objective. But i um, very, very pleased to introduce to you Dr. Rodney Bowden. He's the dean of the Robbins College of Health and Human Sciences here at Baylor. Um, Rodney and I go way back, and we've been watching this series for quite some time. He's going to join us tomorrow, Monday, tomorrow at 1 p.m. here in University House Lobby. So I was able to meet with several of you last week. We've been, been watching it and talking about it. It's been a lot of fun. Please, if you have any interest at all in World War II or just some leadership topics related to some of this, you're welcome to check out the, the uh, episode tonight. If you want to take a study break, they're about an hour long, so maybe just kind of power through a little bit. Or don't, don't watch any of it and just show up and, and, and chat with us. <clears throat> this uh, Monday, tomorrow at 1, and then again we'll have a viewing on Wednesday, we're going to sit down in the lobby, a few of us, and watch it starting at 2.30, and then we'll morph into some discussions around 3.15. So this has been really cool. I hope to capture many of you, uh, more of you along the way. So please feel free to, uh, to reach out and join us and become our band of brothers.